Hey guys. Hey. So we are drum finally, roll, please. Blah, blah, blah. We are finally making our How We Met video. Yay! Yay! You guys have been asking us for a long from the beginning since probably what comment one comment one or two maybe comment one or two how did you guys meet how did you guys meet and we we're finally doing it we had a lot to sing about it took us a long time we had a lot of songs we had a lot to sing about <laughs> let's do a couple announcements first of all we have our album coming out which we're yeah. really super excited about we got to skype with our winner of our new year's uh alice. song alice, hey, alice. alice from australia that You're was awesome we had a lot of fun skyping with her we finally have a p.o box that's probably the most exciting news we've had in two months since everyone started asking us if we had somewhere to mail things to. And you guys can see all the information about our P.O. Box below. down below, because this is where it's going to be. Da, and of da, course, da, da, you know, da, da. you know, subscribe, like her Facebook, thumbs up on the video. Thumbs up on the video, that's always good too. How did we meet, Chrissy? How do we meet? How do we meet? Uh, so I was, it was Saturday night, and the previous week, I've been watching every lesbian movie I could find. My favorites being Imagine Me and You and mm -hmm. Loving Annabelle, really which good. were two that I watched the day before I met Bria. That's and my so, favorite. That's my favorite gay movie. Loving Annabelle? Mm -hmm. And mine's Imagine Me and You. Shout outs. We should watch those together. We should. We haven't watched them. So I had watched together. Imagine Me and You the morning I met Bria, and I was so ready to have a girlfriend. I was like, I want to be in love with a woman. I want to be in love with a woman. And I went out with a friend that night to go watch some music. I didn't get in, as friend. fate would have it, to watch some music because I was 20, and it was t two weeks before my 21st birthday. And it happened to be that about three buildings down, I walked out and I saw like a rainbow lights, and then I saw tons of gays pouring out of this building, and they were all attractive gay males. And, and I went, <gasps> ah, I should go there. <laughs> and so I walked down the street to go in, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just go in and I'll find a girlfriend. That's what I'll do. And I thought she it would be it was really be that easy. easy. Apparently, Bria keeps arguing that it's not that easy, but it was my only experience, so it was pretty good for me. You all can vouch for that. It's not easy. <laughs> so we walk in, we get a drink, and I'm looking for this feminine woman that I'm going to make my girlfriend, and um, I don't see anybody right away. I didn't see anybody in the bar that fit the description of what I was looking for at all. No one. So I was a little disheartened. I just thought that there would be tons. Like, I was wearing this dress. I thought there'd be tons of girls in dresses looking you know for other girls and they weren't and so I walk out of the bar and I was like well I guess I'll just walk around and it was a little bummed and I walk around a corner down three steps and I see three gorgeous girls one was blonde one was African and one was brunette but I was shy. I was the brunette one so you turn your turn so I am with three of my friends and we decided we were going to go to East Atlanta, which is like the place where there's a lot of gay bars, gay bars, not lesbian bars. And the said bar we're talking about is Mary's. If, if you, you ever here. go to Atlanta, you should check it out. So we go and it was really warm out because it was, what month? September? September, September 17th, 17th, 2011. 2011. I know it's bad. And what time was it? Just kidding, just kidding. Okay. Um, and so we're sitting out. I'm talking to one of my friends, and she was having a hard time meeting people. She was a lesbian. She still is. And she was like, hey, Bria, I don't know how to meet people. How do you how do you go and talk to girls and all this? So I was like, well, I don't know. You just go up and introduce yourself and be confident and see what happens. Bria has no idea how difficult that can be when you're doing something new. I guess so. And all of a sudden, I see an extremely, extremely beautiful girl with some straight dude walking down some stairs right in front of us and she walks right by us and my friend and I both do this like one of those head things like you know and she was like wow that girl's really beautiful I was like yeah she was I was like you should go talk to her she's like I, I wouldn't know what to say I was like well just go up and introduce yourself and be confident like we just talked about she's like I just I don't really know I, I just I, I don't I don't really think I have it in me right now I knew how that girl felt I was really nervous too which you're not usually. Mm -hmm. And I, she said, well, why don't, why don't you go do it? Why don't you go talk to her? I was like, I, you okay. <laughs> so I turned around and started walking towards her. I turn around and lo and behold, walking up to me, arm outstretched, uh, she comes up and she says. Well, first of all, I was rocking this awesome outfit. What was I wearing? Uh, the first thing I thought was, wow, she's really beautiful, and I don't like her shirt. But I thought she was gorgeous. I like the shirt. I'm going to wear it tonight. <laughs> Just to spite her. <laughs> Please. What? Kiss me. Okay. 
So here I am wearing this awesome shirt, and I walk right up to her, and I'm like, hey, my name's Bria, and you're really beautiful. And she's like, oh, thanks. I was really shy. She was a little shy. And I said, you're really beautiful, too. You took that? I think so. And then you said, are you hitting on me? Yeah, I quickly said, are you flirting with me? And he said, you did just walk out of a gay bar, so, yeah. And I was like, this is the first time I'd ever been hit on by a woman, so I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. (laughs) (laughs) Is this really how it was? It's just so cute. So, (laughs) we start talking, we really hit it off, we had a really good time, we talked for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. Something like that, and she was like, oh, you know, what do you do? And I said... I'd wanted to date a performer for forever, and so then I asked what she does. I said, I'm a singer, and I'm trying to get back into acting, and she said, I'm an actress, and I've been trying to get back into singing. (laughs) <laughs> so I was like, no way. It was what? crazy. So then I sang for her, and then she sang for me, and I was blown away because she was, like, on her way to being on American Idol. And, and then she was like, oh, I'm the proactive girl, like, the body wash. I was like, oh, my God, I've seen that commercial. You're famous. Oh, we've gotten some comments from y'all. That is me in the proactive commercials. So if you see it and on it Instagram, it's me on the body wash things. <laughs> so it's like, oh, my God, she's, like, a legit actress. She's been in a commercial. And so then she sang for me, and she's an awesome singer. And then she asked me to sing, and, and then I she, sang for her. My heart stopped, and my jaw dropped to the ground. How could I find anything better than All this babe. gorgeous girl? I love you. I love you. Kiss you. Uh, she's a girl of my dreams. No. <laughs> I love you. I love you. So... <laughs> We end up having a really awesome night, and when we get to know each other, we go on a walk, and, and we're just chatting some more, and then we kissed. We did kiss, <laughs> and I really wasn't looking a for good kisser. a relationship at the time. She didn't think we were going to see each other so again. So I was like, you know, it's really nice to meet you, but I should probably go back to my friends at this point, and I was walking away, and I she was really bummed out. says, wait, what's, what's your last name? Oh, you know, I told her, and I was like, it was really nice to meet you, and... It's Cam. Everyone knows your last name. Oh. So she says it's Cam. Sounds Asian. Not Asian. She's Jewish. So I was really bummed out because I didn't think I would ever see her again, and I looked around for her for like 20 more minutes, and she was nowhere to be found. Just disappeared. Disappeared. Into the blackness of the night. I couldn't resist, so the next day I started to look up her music on iTunes and Google. You bought my album. I bought her album two days after I met her. And you joined my fan page? I joined her fan page. Like, I was... I was pretty pitiful. Bam, bam, bam. Within 45, the, the first night that I met Bria, by the end of it, I was ready to sign whatever lesbian contract there is out there. I was already like, had it written up. we'll get the U-Haul. Like, I was just like, I already really think I'm just, I could fall for this girl. And she, I found your uh, fan page. She found my fan page. And, and she started messaging her. me on Facebook. And I tried to resist it. It was but really she, sweet about she's it. She was so sweet. And persistent. And very persistent. And she was so cute and so awesome. So after all the emails went back and forth, we f- finally started talking about eventually seeing each other. And uh, after a while, we, we did. And we really hit it off. And we went on some dates. And... Um, I tried to resist the whole relationship thing because, like I said, it really wasn't what I was looking for. But if you meet someone and you have such a strong connection with them, don't don't resist it because you never know. It might be the only opportunity or shot you get with that person. Definitely. Or those feelings. Yeah, you should you should follow your heart, especially if it feels like it could lead to something really positive. Because life is about taking chances. Yeah. You never know. I took a chance. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh, take a chance on me. Is that a, a musical? Yeah, it's a song. It's like ABBA. Take no. a chance on me. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. No, what is that? It's like ABBA? It might be ABBA. I feel like it's like from Mama Take a chance Mia. on me. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. What is that, ABBA? Dum, dum, daddy, daddy, dum, da, daddy, daddy. You got more of the song than I do. Da, da, da. Take a chance on me. It's like, take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. No, it goes up. We also wanted to remind you guys to check out our last video we did, which was Stop Birthing Gays. And it's a song that we just put out. <laughs> and We had a lot of fun making it. So That's how we met. That's how we met. 
and so so like this video and comment and if we you're in a relationship you tell us how you met your significant other yeah. and tell us something that we don't know about you because we want to know about you guys yeah. and make sure to subscribe facebook like us and tweet us because we tweet back tweet tweet, tweet. We love you. We love each other. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah.